In this video, I'm going to be making a simple birdhouse for my garden. Before figuring out what size I wanted it, I checked the RSPB website, which here in the UK has a whole page dedicated to how to make one and what sizes work for specific types of birds, and another page dedicated to where the best places are to install them. I mainly see a lot of blue tits, great tits and sparrows visiting my garden, so my birdhouse is going to be designed for them. The height of the entrance hole would be 125mm from the bottom of the birdhouse. The birdhouse will be around 150mm deep and 200mm high without the sloped roof which will be cut at a 45 degree angle. And the entrance hole will be 32mm. I began by looking through my scraps of wood. I had two pieces of poplar from a reclaimed pallet collar. This isn't the best wood to use for outdoor use, but I'm going to be painting the birdhouse anyway, which will protect it from the weather. Pressure treated wood should be avoided, as it could be harmful to the birds. First I set my table saw fence to 150mm and then ripped both pieces of the poplar. To make the two side panel pieces, I marked these up at 200mm and cut them on the mitre saw. To cut the second piece, I used the first piece as a template, pressing it up against the blade before making the cut to ensure both pieces would be exactly the same size. To make the front and the back, I marked up the height of the side pieces onto another piece of the poplar and I could use these marks to guide where my 45 degree angles would need to be cut using a speed square. Then I set my mitre saw to 45 degrees and lined up the blade with the line that I'd drawn. I set up a stop block so that I could repeat the same cuts to give me both a front and a back panel. So at this point I had a front panel, a back panel and two sides. Then I could assemble with a wood glue that's suitable for outdoor use and brad nails, making sure the edges of each panel were flush. Then I cleaned off the excess glue. I had just enough poplar left over to make a base for the birdhouse. I marked up the size and then cut it on the mitre saw. I used glue and screws to attach the bottom for extra strength. I drilled a 2mm pilot hole and used drywall screws. Some galvanised screws would be a better choice for outdoor use, but as these screws were on the bottom of the birdhouse and it was going to be painted, I think these will be okay. To cut the entrance hole, I measured up 125mm from the bottom, found the centre of the birdhouse and then drilled the hole using a 32mm Forstner bit. 
I didn't have any more poplar to make the roof, but I did have a piece of scrap pine. I measured the depth of the birdhouse and added a few centimetres to leave an overhang for the roof, and then I ripped it on the table saw to 210mm wide. Then I tilted my mitre saw to 45 degrees and cut one of the ends. I held this piece in place with the 45 degree angle at the very top of the roof and then made a mark where the second cut would need to be made. I made this cut at 45 degrees too but the opposite way and again used a stop block so that I could repeat the cuts to get two matching pieces. Then I could glue and nail on the roof. Then I drilled some ventilation holes through the base panel of the birdhouse. Next I needed to cut a hatch in the back panel to allow me to clean out the birdhouse in future. I marked up a rectangle that would be big enough to get my hand through. Then I drilled a hole in one of the corners with a 20mm Forstner bit. I could then push my jigsaw blade through this hole to cut out the shape of the hatch. I could then attach a hinge to the hatch and to the back panel of the birdhouse. I cut some more small pieces of scrap pine to make a trim for the bottom of the birdhouse, just to neaten it up and hide the end grain. I cut these pieces at 45 degrees again to create a mitre joint at the corners. Then I painted the birdhouse, making sure to use a non-toxic, water-based and waterproof paint so that it wouldn't be harmful to the birds. I just used whatever I had already in the shed, which was this magnolia bathroom paint. I gave the birdhouse two coats and then it was ready to install. I decided to put it up on the side of my house, quite high up, so it was out of the way of the many cats that visit my garden. It's an east facing wall. The RSPB site recommends north or east facing or somewhere in between to avoid strong sunlight and the wettest winds. I drilled a 6mm hole through the back panel using a wood bit and another 6mm hole in the wall using a masonry bit. And I could then install a wall plug. I used a single 10mm long Torx head screw which I drove in a little bit so that the tip was protruding from the back panel. Then I could use the tip of the screw to line it up with the wall plug and then drive it in. I didn't add a second screw because it seemed sturdy enough and wasn't going to be carrying any great weight. 
that's the birdhouse finished and hopefully it'll make a nice home for a family of birds soon. <laughs>